this is pretty much sums up what I love to do. Hello, welcome friends. Um, so we're back home. We are here in the studio. And I'm ready to share with you guys our finds. I hope everyone is doing well. And I just wanted to say that it is June and it was cold yesterday. In the past couple of days, in fact, second week of June, it was no joke, you guys. We hit about mid-50s lows at times. It can be in the area of... 48 degrees for a night and that would be about around roughly temperature temperature during the day 18 celsius so it was unusual for us it's been unusual spring and i know a lot of people have been saying that but um anywho so um i'm here this is the following day hello lovelies welcome back and we are here the second day I'm telling you guys, it's been pretty cold the past couple of days here. It's the second week of June, and, and it's pretty cold. Uh, we hit in the, I would say, 54 during the day temperature. That's roughly about 18 Celsius. And at night, it can get, to, it got to 48 in some area here in our state. And it was unusual for us. But nonetheless, um, today is a pretty day, no rain. We actually need the rain, but the temperature is really nice. However, I went to these two estate sales and I found me some really fun, fun finds and lovely big pieces, you guys, gorgeous. I've listed some of the big pieces. They're in the storage and they are big pieces, uh, but I'm gonna go share with you guys the smaller pieces and the items. But if you guys are interested in these big pieces, you can check out uh, the website. Um, it's listed there if you have any questions you can always ask me um, nonetheless I'm really excited to jump right in here and share my finds with you guys uh, really fun finds and we're gonna go ahead and get started some of the items are collectibles some of the items are decorative some of the items are just you need to have let's start with pottery iron stones that I found now these came um, from the estate sale I have something similar like this gorgeous ceramic or iron stone um, pitcher it has the wheat design and I've shared it I believe previously with you with the basin with it but this one is smaller and it's lovely with the with the collection of iron stone so this one is made in England I believe this is a later England um, I've been uh, finding out some porcelain that not even American or English for that matter like this little guy in this cute so pretty this one 
is made in Japan. But this is lovely, cute in your hutch or display cabinet in the kitchen. And for putting, of course, vases of flower. Now, most of these items I'll be listing pretty soon. And some probably I've already listed. So these are two iron stone pieces right here. This is roughly, let me get the measuring tape. Trying to figure out how big this guy is. About seven inches. It's just roughly about four inches. That's just so adorable. So adorable. <clears throat> Next pottery. Is this gorgeous? Um, indigo pottery. It's almost black. It fades into this beautiful indigo blue. It's never used. It's by a potter. The marking right here. I love the size of this one. I, you know, when are you going to see me, you're going to hear me all the time commenting on size and commenting on shapes, because really these are little factors that play in deciding how I want to decorate things and what needs to fit in wire and where. So this one, it's just with the flat bottom, really organic shape, nothing fancy. I'm not sure the scuffs. Yeah, it's just scuffs. I need some cleaning, of course. I haven't cleaned anything yet. And moving on to one unexpected find that I thought that was so fun. Now, the ladies, they were so kind. They see still wrapping these up. Check out these. Beautiful spots. Spice, beautiful spice jars. These are Lennox. So these are lovely spice jars that are lovely, sweet. If you, um, I have a think about 14 or probably more than 14. I'll, I'll list these. I haven't listed these, but these are collectible. These are spice jars. And they're made by Lennox. If you're a Lennox fan, this is a vintage 1992. And I have the sweet spices and the savory spices. This is sage, thyme, I think I have also basil, saffron, and other varieties. So let me unpack. I don't have them all here, but just to give you an idea this is chive i really see this in a cottage kitchen english style kitchen oh that would look so pretty there marjoram not pretty very English cottage core, definitely. Now we're gonna move into entertaining, and you guys, oh, my jaw just dropped when I seen these pieces. Beautiful, gorgeous set, dinnerware set, and I was just stunned. And I'm glad I picked them up before anyone else did because people were eyeing and eyeing and ooing and I'm like, I'm glad I got there in time to pick them up. Here we are, we're gonna present you with these beauties. Now, again, I have unboxed, unboxed all of them. I'm just showing a sampling. Oh my word, isn't this gorgeous? 
dinner set. What we have is the bouillon cup and saucer. The saucer is right here. And look at this aqua blue. Isn't this darling so pretty? Now this is a Norotaki Japan. I believe this is from a pattern from I would say mid 20s to 40s and of course the discontinued hand painted and this is um, you can see the marking here that gives you an idea um, this is I believe the pattern is mystery to be honest with you when I went on a replacement limited sorry replacement limited company to look for um, pricing and also to look for availability these are rare to find this pattern there's so many mystery patterns out there but this particular pattern it's rare to find and I was so happy to have found a set of eight of each now we have the bouillon cup with two handle with the saucer which is excellent and salad or luncheon plate and we have that beautiful gorgeous square salad plates I mean the camera doesn't do it justice to be honest and then we have this absolutely gorgeous dinner plate same design and um, finally the fruit bowls and you can put desserts here scoop of ice cream sherbet whatever I think that makes an excellent set for entertainment so we got the dinner plates, salad plates. I got to eat of those eight. We have this luncheon or salad plates as well. I would put the saucer, the cream soup. None of them has any chips or cracks for that matter. I think I've listed these. I've already listed these. So if you're interested, you can check out the listing. Um, but I was so thrilled. I, I just love to find me set of beautiful entertainment china, uh, fine china for that matter. I always look out for them because it really enhances the table, the experience, having people over and having dinner. It really enhances the experience for sure. Next, we're continuing on the theme of entertainment. Check out this gorgeous wine glasses now I have I think about six of these I don't think these are even used you guys these are like honey color iridescent with a little bit of glitz to it but it's so subtle and the tag still intact these are Italian wine glasses I have set of these six I believe and I just popped these two open here for you guys to see. When I was pack unpacking the finds and I putting them all together, I put these together on accident and check it out. Bring you guys closer so you get to see. Isn't this pretty together? Oh, it would look so, so pretty and glitzy, but not over the top just so beautiful and as I mentioned they're made in Italy with a tag on them so well with this because you got this design um, scrolling all around and the details and the trim and then the honey color kind of echoes the gold with the creamy background I think it makes a fine table setting. Next, I'm bringing these 
pretty tawny glasses. These are, I would say, the 70s. Uh, made by Libby. I think I have a set of six, I believe. It's that smoky color, tawny color. These, I mean, from their size, these these are about five and three quarters, so they make them like water goblets, based on the information. And if they were a bit smaller, which is like five and a quarter, which is not much really, it would be wine glasses. But who knows? Nobody gonna take a ruler and measure things. But I could use them for either or. I like their shape as well. I see them for fall table. I think they would look really pretty. Um, next item would be this lovely butter dish, silver plate butter dish. And I like to collect these. Not the necessarily the butter dish, but I like to use my silver plate uh, serving ware, especially for gatherings. Next is this pretty ice bucket. I love the finial. The finial is what got me. It's really in excellent condition. You know, it is um, a silver plate by a company actually in New York, Brooklyn. I think oh, it's called Sheffield Brooklyn Company, but I love it because it was a use basically, or just fairly used. So that's one. One of my favorite pieces. And as always, remember to comment below, let me know which pieces are your favorite as well. Um, you saw me haul other things as well, but I found me a stack of lovely chargers, but I just like the price on them and snag them it was a good deal and then next lovely shannon crystal bowl is small but it's beautiful and love the design on this one so elegant another dish which is similar in size. This is Shannon Crystal. This is Indiana Glass Diamond Point. You can feel the diamond pattern right here. These bonbon dish, both of them in fact. But I like to put odds and ends here. And I like dishes that has mini cuts or anything pattern like this it really reflects the lights in dark spaces has that um, mirror effect and so these two were fun to find i think these were in the attics or something this is was in the um china cupboard is this cruet by um anchor hawking wexford it and only had found one with that one sitting in that pile so I couldn't find the other one it's not too shabby in the inside so nice cleaning will do I think it will add elegance oh, I like these these are lovely to find 
I don't find them often in my area. I don't know for some reason. Next, I will bring in the core items, and so what caught my attention is this cute pineapple mid-century brass light or lamp. I always recommend rewiring your lamps especially antique ones you don't want to take the chance of burning down your space this is a little minor, con minor convenience but it's worth the effort so i thought this is unique to put in a little nook somewhere this is pretty i, w I had fun finding this i wasn't planning on um i wasn't looking for lamps but this one caught my eye in the corner of the room so Next is the silver plate. This lovely silver plated uh, basket, weave basket. I thought that would make a statement to put in the centerpiece on the table with floral in here. So I like objects like this, cache pots, to be used in different ways. In speaking of that, I have found me another brands, another brass uh, planter. I've shared previously. I found three sizes, but now I have a medium size, so I can use these two together and on the table. And it's not too shabby. think I'm gonna share one item before bringing the big items in and this one is an art it's a photo of beautiful photo in fact of Native Americans it looks like two ladies here doing their work and I started to collect or pick out Native Americans art, not necessarily art, more photos or elements that I feel like it would go with the interiors. There's a story why I do that. It's because we just recently, well, about a year or so, we found out that my husband's ancestral line have about over 50% Native American in them. And we thought it's cool to kind of bring your culture and make the house part of your personality and who you are. And um, the other part is French and some Spaniard and some, um, I think, other nationalities. I don't remember now, but it's kind of fun to know and find out your history. I think it's neat. And that's just, I feel like our girls are really blessed to have diverse background in our, in our family. And really, I think it enriches anyone's life. So I love to see the young mom with her child. And it looks like grandma is working on the corn or some sort of grain that she is grinding there. I thought it's pretty pretty picture but definitely I'm gonna change or paint the frame I haven't decided so that was a fun find for sure this lovely breakfast tray solid with you guys gorgeous it's a leather weathering on it but this can be also used as a vignette to display things because honestly it's deep and I love the color on this. This wood is, is so warm and inviting. I'm gonna show you how deep this thing is. Look how deep this thing is. The other one, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start moving these small items because I don't want no accidents here. Yes, this gorgeous basket. This is 
very sturdy, almost like resin basket. Huge. I think this makes an excellent, excellent object by itself. If you have a big space to fill, because it has that um, earth tone colors to it but also makes an excellent planter for a plant to put in a corner. Um, really solid. This is not like twig basket that is gonna, you know, it's gonna be undone. You can see it's, it's squared edges, treated, and the craftsmanship on this is amazing. It has like wood rather than twigs, like almost like branches, you guys. This baby is huge. I haven't measured it, in fact. I'm looking for my measuring tape. Oh, no. It's about 20 inches, you guys. 20 inches wide. 13 and a half deep so really really fun find for sure that's awesome I mean it's a statement piece by itself you can see the weaving going through here and then just kind of braiding the ends on the top rim very fun Moving over. In the car, you saw these basket I pulled out. I have three of these lovely baskets. They're a storage basket. You can never have too many baskets, you guys. So I have three of these. And these I liked because they're deep. And you can put towels in here. And I am thinking possibly selling the set together the three together that way whoever is looking to get them they can get the set to create a unique cohesive storage these are roughly 19 by 15 just about 10 inches almost 10 inches things like this I don't skip because I use them at home too but um, I think I'm gonna sell these three together moving on to the rest of the decorative items and we're gonna go inside this time because I wanted to share the big pieces with you guys so let's head inside so here it is. This is the big piece that I couldn't place on the table. It is a beautiful etching art. And it is in a beautiful and famous place in England. If you guys know what this place is, comment below. I know what it is. And it's a beautiful piece. It's an etching of a beautiful place in England. I'm giving you guys hints. So comment below and let me know. And let me turn the light on for you. Here we are. Thank you guys for watching. We hope to see you soon. Now go out there and get your home something pretty.